It's the season of giving, so let's give you the Welsh's top five ADP gifts in early NFBC drafts up next. Welcome into FBT and 5. Today is Thursday, December 22nd. I am Frank Sanford, joined by the Welsh. I just dropped my pen. Oh, Make sure oh, to follow oh. him at is it the Welsh on Twitter. And let's do this countdown style. Welsh, we'll start with your number 5 ADP gift in early drafts. Whether you've been naughty or you've been nice, I do have some gifts for you that you can take advantage of in your drafts all year long. So this is the gift that keeps on giving. At number five, my ADP gift at 217 or post 200 on NFBC is Patrick Sandoval with the Angels. 13.3 swinging strike percentage this past year, which was 20th among pitchers with 100 or more innings. He also had a 29.2 CSW. Interesting about that, of those 20 pitchers with that swinging strike percentage, four above had even worse CSW. This is also one of those pitchers that you can get outside the top 200 with a under three ERA. Patrick Sandoval, kind of a gift this year to round out your pitching staff. His ADP right now is 218 over on the NFBC. He was a popular breakout pick last year, and he was still pretty good. The whip of concern uh, got to improve there. But I feel like people have maybe gone too far the other way now on Patrick Sandoval. I'm with you. I'm in on Sandoval going that late. Your number four ADP gift is blank. Sometimes you get a gift that is everything you've ever asked for, but then it breaks the next day. That's the risk we have with gifts. And this gift does have that potential risk. But at 270 plus, you can get the leader in stolen bases on potential projection systems at shortstop and middle infield. Yes, don't call Santa, not me. Adalberto Mondesi, projected on steamer, 14 homers, 29 stolen bases, and even an under 30K percentage, regardless of everything that you could do to talk up or down. You're talking about a guy that could lead the league in stolen bases past 250 and has a lower ADP than John Birdie with a higher home run potential. Whoever you are, unless you're points leagues, Adalberto Mondesi is a gift that could break early, but you could have a year of fun, so I would pick him up. Last year, the ADP for Adalberto Mondesi was 73. He is going 200 picks later this year. I get it. He can't stay healthy. There's no risk. If he gets hurt early, you drop him. If he stays healthy, you have a potential top 50 player on your hands in Adalberto Mondesi. ADP gift number three is... At 150 plus, I'm going to say 157 as I'm doing this. This guy qualifies at first, but will also qualify at a not-so-deep third base position. Jose Miranda, you want to hear a breakdown, listen to the most recent episode we did where I talk about some of the unique ways he was as a hitter, one of which was hitting 240 and 02 counts, which is a really incredible uh, feat. Under 20K percentage, makes great contact, was a minor league player of the year, projected this year 21 homers and hitting 269. And guess what? If you take a look at third baseman with 20 plus homers and a 269 or better batting average, there are only three on that list. He is tied with Nolan Arenado and only two other players better than him. So you can sneak one of the better third basemen who is uh, wrapped up as a first baseman post 150. He's a gift that you should fill out your team with Jose Miranda. He is a lifesaver too, because if you miss out at the third base position early on, you might, <laughs> you're going to be, you're going to be pretty nervous. What's going on? Who do I start at third base? I think Miranda, he is that guy that you can just depend on later on in drafts. And I agree with you. Solid batting average. Power is going to be there. Hopefully, the Twins can stay healthy. Uh, and if they do, counting stats should be strong for Jose Miranda as well. We are now up to number two. ADP gift. We got? Well, I've got another pitcher for you. And uh, if you're looking at early projections, Steamer specifically, uh, specifically uh, there are 20 pitchers who are projected to go over 20 or 200 strikeouts or more this year. There are two of them going outside the top 100. Both of those are teammates, Hunter Green and Nick Lodolo. Nick Lodolo, who utilizes four different pitches at 10% or more usage compared to Hunter Green's two pitches, which he uses about 95% of the time. Hunter Green was magnificent last year with the slider, which he used 40% uh, of the time, had a 28% whiff rate. Well, Nick Lodolo completely rechanged his curveball. He uses it 30% of the time with a 46% whiff rate. He also has almost the same K percentage as Hunter Green and gives up less EV, a full mile per hour less on exit velocity. It's a 40-inch dip on the curveball. The usage is great. The command is great. The breakout is here. And when you're chasing 200 strikeout pitchers, he is the cheapest of 
all of the early projected guys coming in behind Hunter Green. Nicola Dolo will be on all of my teams and hopefully yours this Christmas season. Small sample size last season, but people are going to point to the fact that Lodolo pitches in Great American Ballpark. That's why you should avoid him. However, this past season, 2.85 ERA at home, an ERA over five on the road. I think he's already proven he could pitch in Great American Ballpark. Better days are coming for Nick Lodolo. I am in as well. And last but not least, your number one ADP gift is... Oniel Cruz. Yes, he is a top 100 player. He does cost. He has a 76 on the ADP. But check this fun little experiment out. Obviously, you guys know how he improved himself in the second half, got better, lowered the strikeout rate, projected. We were talking about projections here for just a minute. Projected at a huge 27 homer, 18 stolen base clip, and only 130 games this coming year with a 250 average on steamer. Projections are not, those are very interesting. There are only two or three players that did something similar last year. Kyle Tucker, who went 30 and 25. Jose Ramirez, who went 29 and 20. And Julio Rodriguez, who went 28 and 25. What do all those guys have in common? First round talent. First round players. Onio Cruz passed the 70s with first round potential. The floor is is, uh, really, really low, of course. But the upside is first round. And you got to think of it like you did with Bobby Witt last year. It's about the same type of cost with hopefully the same upside It's a gift that I'm willing to take a shot on. O'Neal Cruz is my number one ADP gift for 2023. O'Neal Cruz has broken baseball. He now is the leader all time in terms of max exit velocity. If he could just cut down those strikeouts, improve a little bit against lefties, we're talking about the sky is the ceiling for O'Neal Cruz in 2023. For more extensive fantasy baseball coverage, listen to the Fantasy Baseball Today podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, the Odyssey app, or anywhere else podcasts are found. And thanks for listening to Fantasy Baseball Today in 5. We'll be back again tomorrow morning. Bye-bye! 